I was involved in some fundraising for a charity called Dream Flight in 1996. Started taking disabled children to Florida, which was a once a year trip. Did that for 10 years and then came involved in skiing for, uh, for disabled. So I'm a skier, I'm helping people with it to, to learn to ski uh, and with, with whatever disability that they've got. We have people here with Down syndrome, blind, deaf, um, different limbs missing, uh, and we can, we can cater for, for all of their disabilities. We, we'll ski, or I'll ski with anybody. Uh, I also instruct other people that, uh, that haven't done it before, and I had a guy with me this evening, it was his first time being here at the session, and teaching him how to use a sit-ski. Hello, I'm Roddy Llewellyn. This is what's known as a bi-unique uh, sit-ski. Uh, it's basically got two skis on the, uh, on the base of it, which is, they're on a slight uh, camber. Uh, so as you turn, they will help you turn on the slope. It's designed for the beginner uh, sit-skier, so someone with a disability, they, they can't use their legs. They can progress on to use their arms. Uh, at a later date. Basically strapped in the feet, the knees, the waist, and then depending on the disability they can be strapped in uh, right up to the up to the neck uh, and can be ridden down at speed on the on the slope. If you initially speak to a disabled person that hasn't skied before, they don't believe that they can go to skiing. <laughs> Adaptive skiing is, is adapting the style of skiing for the person you've got, whether it be a blind person, um, whether it be somebody that uh, is, hasn't got the use of their legs or has only one leg. I don't know if you saw there was a guy out there tonight who was snowboarding with only one leg and he's got his, his um, prosthetic leg in the, in the other side of his uh, snowboard. And if you can make it progressive as well, then they have the sense of achievement to go with it. So they come down uh, in snowy conditions and go away with a, with a great sense that they've done something. It gives me a little bit of focus. I'm here on a Sunday. I know I'm coming on a Sunday. I'm not going to sit in front of the television and vegetate. I'm coming here to have or help other people have fun. So yes, it, it makes you also realise how fortunate I am that I'm able-bodied and my children are able-bodied. Uh, and they come here and ski with me as well, which is, which is fabulous. So try to encourage the youth to come through as well and do their Duke of Edinburgh awards uh, and various certificates to help them go on in their life. So it's not just helping the people with disabilities, it's educating youth as well to come and ski. And you see there's quite a lot of young people here helping out, which is nice. But I get a lot out of it and I, I get a lot out of the people that I'm working with. Uh, and that's, that's a sense of, for me of, of being a volunteer. And then what I want you to do is to block it so nobody skis across. It's great fun. I have a great time. Uh, I don't mind giving up uh, my Sunday evening to be, to be here because it's, it's such good fun, good camaraderie. Uh, and the sense of achievement when you're working with people that, that, have, that have learnt something new or have um, achieved something in the evening. In, the, in their adaptive capability of skiing, it, it's, you go home with a sense of great achievement. And I like to see the smile on their face as well. The lovely thing is that you get to ski with lots of different people here, uh, different disabilities. Uh, I have skied with Jamie three or four times. He's a lovely little boy, he's always smiling, and he makes nice little gurgling noises as you, as you rattle down the mountain at high speed. All right, are you ready then? Yeah. We will see you at the bottom. A smile on his face says it all. He's having a really good time. <laughs>